It's Fan Appreciation Month at Screen Junkies, and to reward our awesome fans, we're making the honest trailers that you voted for. Here's your number three choice. Based on a sneaker commercial comes a film that got the rights to Michael Jordan and the Looney Tunes, then said, screw it, that's all the work we're gonna put into this one. It's money time. Space Jam. Experience the Citizen Kane of live-action animated hybrid basketball movies, full of bright colors, cartoon violence, someone's killing someone, and second-tier mid-90s NBA stars that blew the tiny mind of every kid who saw it and permanently blinded them to its many, many flaws. Look, millennials, I know you're just getting old enough to feel nostalgia for the first time, but trust me, this one sucks. Journey to the center of the Earth, where all the Looney Tunes live, apparently, for a story about aliens stealing the talent of basketball players to win a game against Bugs Bunny to rescue a failing amusement park. Oh, that's so lazily told, no one even cares that Michael Jordan got kidnapped. You think Michael's all right? Boy, I hate to leave him like this. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. Cartoons are real. Do you know that your friends are cartoon characters? Yeah. So? Or that Bill Murray can travel between dimensions. How did you get here, anyway? Producer's a friend of mine, just had a teamster come and drop me off. I mean, I'm not mad that he's in this. Just try even a little bit next time. The movie doesn't even take place in space. It's called Space Jam. Return to Michael Jordan's weird baseball era that conspiracy theorists think was a secret suspension for gambling. If we win, you get the NBA players the talent back. If you win, you get me. Hmm. Then cringe as your childhood hero shows off the limitations of his non-basketball skills, like acting. You're a cartoon, you're not real. Coaching. Let's just go out and have fun. Yeah! Being a good teammate. Somebody steal the ball, give it to me. Being a good friend. Just face it, you guys stink. Wearing appropriate sized khakis and being a role model. This goes against everything they taught me in health class. You wanna win or not? Yikes, unless you're dunking on somebody? Don't be like my kids. Cling to your fleeting innocence with all your favorite Looney Tunes, or at least these bootleg soundalikes now that Mel Blanc is dead. Eh, what's up, Doc? And rev your engines for the debut of Lola Bunny. Oh, yeah. Who gave boys a weird rabbit fetish long before Judy Hopps, as you laugh along with all their classic cartoon hijinks and conveniently forget that most of this movie's runtime is dedicated to Newman trying not to get fired. You're all right. You're all right. Oh, I'm so worried. <laughs> Thrill at one of the worst refereed games of basketball since the ref and Air Bud let a dog on the court. He's right. Ain't no rules that the dog can't play basketball. With dozens of flagrant fouls. <laughs> shady scorekeeping and a blatant disregard for solid fundamentals. But if you don't find a fifth player, your team will forfeit the game. Oh, now you care about the rules. Where were you when the two players in the Toon Squad shot a monster in the face? So enjoy a 90-minute long commercial. Get your Hanes on, lace up your Nikes, grab your Wheaties and your Gatorade, and we'll pick up a Big Mac on the way to the ballpark. That in retrospect only exists to sell Looney Tunes toys and Air Jordans. Cool shoes. But sadly is still the best movie starring an NBA player. You realize who I am? I'm your genie! Ugh, Space Jam 2 with LeBron it is. Starring a soundtrack that totally makes up for the mediocre movie. Seal's version of Fly Like an Eagle. Salt and Pepper, R. Kelly's I Believe I Can Fly, a duet between Chris Rock and Barry White, more R. Kelly, and that Quad City DJ song that's all, come on and slam, and welcome to the jam, you know, so good. NBA Jam, Tournament Edition. You know what else is better than the movie? The original website that Warner Brothers hasn't changed since 1996. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Thanks to superfans Austin B, Connor M, and Alicia G for voting for this trailer and making Fan Appreciation Month that much cooler. If you want more Fan Appreciation Month, click the box on the left to watch your fifth and fourth choice Honest Trailers. Or if you're feeling a bit odd, click the box on the right for a delightfully weird interview with Vin Diesel from Triple X Return of Xander Cage. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. The entire B-movie script. Call Kenny Loggins, cause you're in the danger zone. Goishi Sloishi. You're not my brother. You're just a pet who grew legs. He's got you in Shrekmate. It's all ogre now.